Hello everyone there, out there, far, far away out there in internet land. My name is Yabby and um, I'm here to do part two of my uh, Syntec Companion um, unprofessional unboxing video. Uh, so I got the thing started up, it's good to go, got some programs installed, nothing too fancy, nothing too big on there. Uh, transferred a couple of my uh, pieces of work from my other computer. So um, this video is basically going to discuss the uh, digital aspects or digital painting aspects of the Syntec Companion. Because again, I am not tech savvy. That video is going to come last and I will not be doing that video. This is primarily for the artists who are very curious about how, you know, Photoshop functions, how certain programs function, uh, pen pressure, all sorts of, you know, artsy fartsy stuff that if you don't know anything about digital painting, probably don't care about. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started and open up Photoshop here. First thing I am going to note is I do enjoy how compact Photoshop is and all the buttons are extremely tiny. I don't mind it. I don't mind the works. It allows me to have bigger workspace to really deal with. If you can't see for crap, you're probably going to mind it, but I am more than positive that there is definitely something that um, there's something there where you can adjust the size of the so windows and everything. So I'm going to just go ahead and open up a doodle that I've been working on, you know, on and off this morning and just kind of discuss, first of all, how much I enjoy the pen pressure of the Syntec Companion. Let me, let me just kind of preach about that for a second. Uh, typically when I work digitally, I work all in one layer. I'm very painterly in my digital fashion. And uh, to the fact that pen pressure is very important to me, it's one of the key things um, when buying a tablet, I need to ensure that I have good enough pen pressure to actually create the paintings I want to make. And uh, with the Syntec Companion, I am able to do that and oh so much more. Uh, needless to say, I have not touched the opacity and flow oopsie, throughout the entirety of um, of my, you know, experimenting on this thing and just work kind of working on small doodles. Um, so yeah, the pen pressure on this is top notch. Not too sure of the levels again. We'll talk about all that tech stuff later. Um, but yes, it is. Um, it's absolutely stunning the uh, amount of pressure or the levels of pressure that are provided. I've yet to really see its true extent um, as I do a lot of uh, black and white work with some color. So I would like to see, you know, look further into that and see how it really, really works when I start to do some full color pieces. Um, the hotkeys on the side here, very useful. Um, again, they always take a bit, tech, a bit getting used to. I still can't get used to them. Uh, essentially, you have your radial wheel on the bottom, um, which you can use to, you know, open up your brush panel, save, step backwards. Um, their control Z is something severely, like sorely missed without having a keyboard. But with the radial menu, you can just do step backward and do backward steps repeatedly. You can also do uh, capture your window as well. Um, so you can print screen. Then you have space, control. Uh, the middle button here will be your Windows key. And then there's a couple of other features like undo, redo. Um, then the brush tool strips, uh, brush, brush tool strip, uh, brush touch strips. So I'll learn to read, Gabby. And the Photoshop colorist are things I haven't really delved in too much yet. Again, I like to keep things simple, stick with what I got sometimes, especially with new devices. Um, so I'll be delving into those further. And then Alt, Shift and settings. Uh, the Photoshop brush set, or excuse me, these oh, Syntec brush settings are very, 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 very customizable. Again, I haven't delved into them, but there's lots you can do, trust me guys, lots. Um, so anyway, another thing I like to um, discuss is basically the level of detail that the um, Wacom Syntec Companion allows me to have. Um, there's a, quite a difference in being able to draw on your actual screen uh, than there is to look at a screen and then try to draw blindly, or as best as you can. Um, digital artists will understand this, especially when trying to do poses or sketches. Um, a lot of the times, due to you know not being able to actually look at your screen, uh, things just get a little bit warped and screwed, a little bit out of proportion, um, and of course, it's because we're digital artists. We use all the cheats and the tricks of the trade in order to repair and fix that. Um, however, with the Syntec Companion, of course, being able to draw on the screen, it eliminates so much extra work and so many steps in my own personal workflow that it's absolutely 
pretty breathtaking. Um, it's pretty unbelievable almost to realize how quickly I can now complete certain paintings. I mean, this one, you probably won't believe me, this one was only done in about five, ten minutes um, before I put it on here for everyone to see. Another thing um, as well as being speedy is um, it doesn't really get that hot. Um, that's something that I know a lot of artists who have like the regular syntax get concerned with is um, the fact that they don't want their hand and their skin to melt off, which is completely understandable. I don't want my skin to melt off either while I try to draw. So, um, uh, so far what I've noticed is that it does not get very hot. Um, again, I'm going to be traveling with it this week, uh, taking it, you know, out in the out in the wild to see what people think about it, or not what people, but how it works out there. But um, one thing I am going to be trying to keep an eye on is exactly how hot it gets with prolonged uses, especially when I start to get into my pages. Otherwise, um, you, using with Photoshop, again, there isn't a lot of lag. Uh, when I do open other music programs, at least online, it does start to lag quite a bit. But then again, Photoshop is a hawk monster. I'm sure those of you who use Paint Tool Sci, this will run like on stupid fast with Paint Tool Sci. Um, I have yet to install my Manga Studio on there, which is another thing I'm going to be doing. Um, but so far with, you know, the big old hog of them all, Photoshop, it's handling it pretty nicely with no other applications open. Um, so that's always a good thing, especially since I use Photoshop for everything. But of course, this could also tie into all those techie things that I'm sure all of you are just dying with curiosity to know more specifications about. But yeah, so far, um, in only using it for less than 24 hours, my, my advice and consensus truly is if you are a very dedicated, hardworking digital artist, and um, you know, you do, you do, you are serious about or you want to make art your craft, you know, you want to get into comics or into illustration or whatever, I really, I highly recommend saving up the money for this. Um, one, because it's important for artists to go outside, so that way you can go outside again, little art folk. And two, it just, it's just truly a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. It's surely worth all the money. Surely worth the enjoyment of drawing crazy, psychotic, pink-haired girls. Alright, I guess that'll be it for now. Um, if you guys have any additional questions, I am going to do a recap video um, later in the week after I've kind of traveled around with it, depending on our weather situation here in good old Denver. Um, so if you guys do have any questions, please feel free to leave them. And I hope you've enjoyed Part two. Part three will include all the technical aspects done by my precious boyfriend, Matthew Booth. So look forward to that soon. Peace.